here is my Remington rolling block that I've been working on and uh, it's pretty much done just needs a minor touch up here and there uh, mostly cosmetic such as the, you know, the screw heads and all that but uh, yeah this one is chambered in a 22 short and it does fire factory round so uh, it's less trouble for me you know I don't have to keep making well made rounds but uh, uh, some of the concerns as far as the pressure goes and uh, what I might do to uh, change this is uh, the breech block and the hammer is uh, is fine as of now it's got plenty of reinforcements and all that the only thing I might change with the frame is that uh, these two holes or actually it's four two on each side anyways I might these are the pressure points or high stress points so I might go and uh, basically cut a rectangle about midway and then put a metal me metallic bar insert with holes drilled in it and basically bury that in the receiver and redo the finish and uh, hopefully that would protect the holes from uh, basically expanding uh, over time and also another concern that I have is that uh, this upper portion of the frame the slot where the hammer and the breech block goes in would uh because of the, whoops because of the high spring pressure and all that it would want to uh, split outwards over time and uh, so what I might have to do to fix that is basically change these two bolts into uh, screws so that would keep the frame together tight and prevent it from uh, splitting apart but uh, other than that it should hold up to I mean it's 22 short so we're not talking about that much of a pressure so it should hold just uh, okay and I guess we won't know till we test fire it multiple times but uh, yeah that's pretty much it really uh, the scope is just a little $10 cheap airsoft scope I just put that on there for the looks so it's not meant to be you know precision sniper rifle no no not, nothing like that it's just just for the looks and yeah so it's got a little scope extension just to make it look right proportionally and uh, that's uh, pretty much it so I mean only things other than that is the some of the fix up I might do other than that just I might redo the whole finish on the gun I mean all I did is just paint the whole thing with a silver marker so I mean, it's not even a proper paint job and the stock uh, it's the same as all the other stocks I do uh, just cardboard base with a couple layers of paper mache and then you sand it uh, f flat and this one what I did was uh, I put an initial layer of uh, a dark stain and then I sanded that down and then came back with a lighter tone so it's, it gave this little kind of wavy pattern but the uh, problem is I used recycled paper instead of clean white sheet so you can actually see some of the letters and words still on there so I might have to uh, repaint the thing with a darker tone not as excessive as this one but uh, just a little bit darker so you can't see the words but uh, again I'm not too concerned about that so uh, not too bad not too bad so uh, We'll get this thing test firing and see how it, how it goes. So uh, thanks for watching.